What a beautiful place to do an interview here. We are at Lafroig at the Maltin floors, on the first floor actually, and we're with Pamela Ferguson, who is uh, assistant distillery manager. Pamela, thank you for your time talking to us. I just wonder how, how did you make your way into whiskey? Oh, so it was quite a change. I only actually made my way into whiskey back in 2016. Um, I started off over in Bowmore Distillery and I started as a tour guide and after about two years in 2018, I moved into the production side of Bowmore and I worked as a site administrator. So off the back of that, I'd done a little bit of training and um, got a bit more of a knowledge of what we were really doing in our processes. And gradually I started to move into more managerial and that's when this came up, the option of coming to Lefroy as the assistant manager. So of course I jumped at the chance of that. <laughs> so you've been to Bomo and now you're at Lefroy? Yes. So what would you say is the main difference between the two distilleries for you? So in terms of the site itself, it's obviously a little bit bigger over here at Lefroy and in terms of the whiskey, they are really quite different. Mm. So back at Bomore we've got the kind of lighter fruitier notes and here at Lefroy we're used to the more kind of um, not more PTE smoky in there and a bit more of that kind of iodine coming from our location as well. So very different in terms of flavour profiles. Right. And since you're assistant distillery manager, I always wonder what exactly does a distillery manager do? Can you explain <laughs> a little bit? Of course. So the majority of my role is actually just making sure that we keep Lefroy legal. So we're doing lots of compliance, um, compliance checks, lots of training, making sure that our guys are up to date with everything. And of course, making sure that our production is going to plan and that we're going to hit our targets for the year because we want to make as most of this lovely whiskey as we can. Hmm. Uh, working here, you know Lafroig by heart. So what's your personal favorite whiskey here? So um, from our kind of core ranges, I would say definitely the 25 year old. Mm. Um, so for me, I definitely love these kind of older bourbon barrels. I think you get these gorgeous tropical fruity flavors coming through in them. So that's definitely a favorite for me. And if somebody has never had Lafroig before, what would be the ideal whiskey to start with? So believe it or not, I didn't drink too much Lefroy before I started here. I was quite a novice. Um, so I recall doing my first tasting with Barry and really quite enjoying the lore. So I think if you've not had it before, that would probably be my recommendation. So the lore and that's because of? So I think I found it maybe a little bit sweeter mm. than a lot of things that like you're 10 year old. Um, so for me, because I was coming in from more having that fruitier note, I think it was a nice gentle introduction to the Lefroig flavours. Perfect. As we're standing here in the floor maltings, uh, is there any expression of Lefroig that's purely made with the own floor maltings yet? Yes, so I think it was the 2015 Karchus. Okay. Um, so that was quite a hit. Um, we'll see going forward, but I'm really keen to do something else using our own floor malting because We've tried it from other distilleries as mm. well. It is fantastic. We get these really beautiful flavors coming from using mm. our own malt. So I'm really keen for us to do something like that again in the future. What, what does it add to, to the whiskey, the own floor malting? What can you control with it? I don't know if it's about control as such. I think for me, you just get such in-depth flavors coming from it. Um, so I can't really explain why that happens other than the fact that we've obviously got it happening right on our site here. Mm. But even at a young age, you can tell it's something very special. Where did you get, uh, do you get the all other malted barley from? So we're using two different suppliers at the moment. Mm. So we've got maybe about 15% of our own malt, and then we're using a company called Crisp Malt. Okay. And we're also using from Diageo down in Portellan as well. Okay, so Pamela, thank you for the time and for the interview. And uh, thank you for being with us. Have a great day here. Thank you very much. Thanks for it was having a pleasure. me. Bye-bye.